Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is based on a Frankie Gaff inspired bronze golden makeup look and this is the look. Um, if this is your first time to my channel, all my videos are based on how to get gorgeous, glowing, radiant skin. And so if that's your thing, please click the bell, hit subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And also just to say, I'm not sponsored by anybody, so everything that I talk about is of my own opinion. And um, let's just get started with this Frankie Gaff bronzed golden inspired makeup look. Okay, so for my base, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Unisex Healthy Glow. Now, I'm not entirely sure whether Frankie uses this particular product. However, I've seen her use a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury products. So this product comes out white when you first um, take it out of the tube. And it just blends into this gorgeous golden glow on your skin. So you only need a little bit. And at first of all, you think that you do need a little bit more than just a tiny amount. But if you just start with a little bit and then blend out. It seems to make a transformation once it's been on the skin for a few seconds. So I just sort of try and let it sink in before I overload my skin up with it. And then you get this really lovely, light, natural, flawless base. So it's just gonna let it sink in a little bit. So I'm going to be using the retoucher underneath my eyes and for brightening and I did try it out yesterday and I did feel like it had quite a good brightening effect so um, I've actually got a sample of it and um, it's in the shade fair and you only need again a tiny amount so I'm going to be using my real techniques brush I'm just going to take a tiny tiny dab of it and we are going to use that for both eyes I think. You really, really only need a tiny amount. I'm going to actually use a slightly smaller brush for just around the nose. overall base. Um, what I'm now going to do is I'm just going to powder over my face with Hourglass's finishing powder, the ambient lighting range, um, to hopefully achieve Frankie's glowing complexion. Um, so I actually have the ambient lighting blush, but the shade mixed in with the ambient lighting blush is actually one of their finishing powders and it's called Incandescent Light and you find it in the palette that they have. And I'm just going to dust over really lightly this really does a brilliant job of actually keeping your makeup on um, and giving your skin this beautiful candle lit glow. We're now gonna contour um, and I'm gonna be using Benefit Hula Bronzer. I'm just gonna take my Real Techniques brush. Now what I'm going to do is I want to warm up the complexion. Frankie always has a really warm bronzed look. So the product that I'm going to be using is my Rosy by Autograph Bronzer, which is a really lovely warm toffee shade, which is hopefully just going to give me that really lovely sun-kissed, bronzed, warm complexion that Frankie has. So you don't want to come too far, too far down the face. You just want to sort of stop at the outer edge of the iris. Hopefully that's given me a really nice warm complexion. Frankie always has a really um, golden look about her makeup. So I'm going to be using, and again I have a sample, the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. And it is in shade number two. Almost like a foundation, but it has got a really beautiful sheen to it. Um, I have seen Frankie use it as a foundation. However, I did try it and I found that it was a little a bit too much gleam all over and I felt like it didn't help my pores look um, look the, the best that they could so I'm just going to stick to using it as a really lovely highlighter for the day and I think it's absolutely gorgeous for that so I'm just going to add a little bit more because Frankie is golden so we need to add as much gold as we can 
I always think that Frankie never has that much of a um, pinky blush to her cheeks. She always looks more bronzed and golden. So I'm going to be using a really subtle blush. I'm going to be using the Clinique in Melon Pop. And it's really nice and subtle. I'm just going to be just... What I'm going to do is I'm now going to do the eyes and I'm going to go in with a peachy shade on the lids which is um, and I'm going to be using a shade from the blush nudes um, it is a really well used loved palette and I'm going to be using the very well loved shade which is this very natural peachy tone And then what I've seen um, Frankie have is a fairly pinky tone in the crease. So I'm going to be using my e.l.f. palette. And it actually it's more of like a bronzy, but it comes out a little bit pinkish. Just slightly darker than that gold that I put in there. And then we're just going to add a little bit of brown mascara. And I'm going to be using the classic Volume Express. So I always think Frankie's makeup is always um, really bronze, and but there's always like a touch of pink, and I think that is um, on her lips. So we're going to be using my Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in East End Snob, and it's just this perfect um, mimic of your lip colour. Just defines it ever so slightly. And then I'm going to be using um, two lip crayons, which I think give a really lovely natural lip finish. It's neither too glossy or not too matte. And I'm going to be using my Rosie by Autograph um, lip crayon in My Best Girlfriend. And it's this really gorgeous corally shade. And then I'm going to go over it, and this is slightly more of a matte finish, with my Revlon um, Lip Lacquer, and this is in the shade Demure, and it's just a really um, sort of a muted pink. And these together, I feel like you get a really um, perfect Frankie pink lip. So that is my overall finished Frankie Gaff makeup look. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe and thank you all so much for watching. Bye!